This right here is a $100,000 video studio. And by the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how we turn this into this. This studio is a powerhouse for podcast filming, YouTube, and live streaming, and looks like an actual shipyard. It's even got dedicated editing and producer bays and a lounge co-working area all in one studio space. And that is not even the best part. Our team spent four months painstakingly designing and building out this studio. And it's all culminated in this one video you're about to watch right now. So let's dive into how we're gonna build this. So today we're here in Miami with Dickie and Cole, the seven-figure entrepreneurs behind two massively successful online courses. They wanna get serious now about video content for their YouTube channel and running their online courses. So they called us for help. Yo. Yo. So first, the design phase. We met to discuss their dreams for what this studio could mean for them. The big thing will be looking better on video while we do it. I guess the uniqueness of it, you know, having some ship themed stuff. And then on the tech side, recommendations, I think we want to invest a good amount. And if we're going to do it, like, let's make it look movie quality, you know? We looked at various inspirations from other creators and dove deep into figuring out the strategy for how to lay out their space based on their floor plan. The name of their studio would be The Shipyard, and they wanted to lean hard into that ship theme that they've become known for online. So our design team then went to work crafting their vision into a series of mock-ups and worked with Dickie and Cole's feedback until they were happy with the final end result. Everything from simple to more industrial to even exploring personality pieces with this tone-on-tone -tone design, all the way to custom fabrication options. In the end, they loved this one the most because it felt like they were sitting in an actual shipping container, once again keeping with the theme of the shipyard. By the end, here's the 3D render we ultimately came up with. Noise. Noise. Next, with all that done, we set up the background to install this roofing paneling, to doing electrical work to install the Alexa light switches. Alexa, studio on. To painting the entire background and unboxing and assembling all of the furniture. With this whole process, the number one thing is to minimize your overwhelm so that you can get it done properly. That's why we have a checklist. We want to make sure that all the pieces are well-oiled machine. So without a checklist like this, this would be such a disaster. Me personally, speaking from experience in the past, when I did studios myself, it was just so overwhelming. So it's super simple, low tech, but it's going to save you so much time and energy. Right here, we've got, we've got Heather, one of our gear experts on the team. She is amazing at all this stuff and really none of this would be possible without her. There's again, so much stuff. We've got a hundred plus pieces of gear here. So another kind of note on that, by the way, as you're doing all your gear, make sure that you're not gonna lose anything. Keep things organized. We've got things sorted out so that visually nothing gets lost and you know where everything is when you need it. And that leads us to this. But 12 hours ago, it looked like this. So many people underestimate something when it comes to studio builds and it's this huge nightmare for them. And that is all the trash involved in getting a studio set up. Not every studio is gonna have this much, but for most of you, you're definitely gonna have way more trash and way more items than you expect. So just keep that in mind, set your expectations right so you don't feel overwhelmed halfway through because the end is when you're gonna finally be like, all that work was worth it. All right, as all that was happening, halfway through the day, we sat down with Dickie and Cole to hear their thoughts on the build. So it's 101, October 6th, and we're halfway through the day of building it. And now we're four hours away from having something we could record into. I think that's the coolest part. Yeah. And the biggest benefit of working with you guys, it's if I was to do on my own, would take me five years to have put together from here. And by the end of the day, we could have sit, sat down and recorded a bunch of video content, ads, everything. This whole week, because the studio has been getting created, this whole week I've had dreams of videos. I wake up every morning being like, that would make it for an amazing YouTube video, or that would make for an amazing video ad. Mm -hmm. so I'm just excited to start creating them. All right, so a lot has happened. We've been busy at work on the studio, and so I wanted to share with you guys some updates on the build. This isn't just gear. This is the decor. This is making sure that everything is set up the way it should be in terms of the placement and the floor plan, the acoustics of everything we're actually still working on. But then you got lighting, you got the camera stuff, you got the entire workstation over there to figure out the workflow of how this stuff operates. So to dive into these one by one, I wanna share with you guys the decor, the design side. So whenever we think about a studio, I want you guys to think about it as not just copy pasting someone else's space into your space. You're really doing some complex set design to build a world. 
I want you guys to think of yourselves as world builders. So one of my personal favorite things that our design team pulled off is we actually got this, this is actually a roofing panel. And so we wanted to, to essentially bring in the whole shipping container vibe, but we couldn't just purchase a giant shipping container. And so our team did so much work coordinating with local builders and trying to put together this creative vision. And so this is essentially black painted roofing. Over here, we've got a custom panel flipboard sign thing that again adds to that whole kind of shipping vibe. And then over here, this is super cool. I don't actually know what this exactly is, but it's just this super cool, I don't even know what to call it, like a, like a little safe thing. But we felt that it really added to the vibe of the studio. Another part of the decor of the setup is thinking about how you're gonna feel in the setup. A lot of people don't notice this, but it's so important to have a setup that you can genuinely feel comfortable in. In the past, when I built setups, it looked good on camera, but I didn't actually feel comfortable there. So for instance, what do I mean by that? Like these chairs, you just kind of sink into them and they're so comfy. And when you sit here, you don't feel nervous. It kind of grounds you. And so when you're able to show up on camera in this way, in this physiologically grounded state, you're able to be a lot more present and less self-conscious. I personally have a problem talking too fast. And so I especially need these kind of things. Like on my desk at home, I have this felt thing on my desk. A lot of this stuff just sensory wise and like physiologically, it puts you in a better state to, to serve people through the camera. And so think about what you need. Is there a certain posture that you feel like you can engage best in? Some of our clients like to stand up. Some people like to sit down and also just like pick a good desk. Right, your desk isn't just a desk for you to put stuff on. It kind of sets the stage for how the person is interacting with you. Right? Do you need a place where you're gonna put your elbows? Are you gonna have a place where you need microphones to be placed? And this right here also gives you a surface to place other things in the future. If you have a little bobblehead of yourself, if you have different little trinkets and stuff that you wanna show more personality in, this is a great place for you to put foreground items. Moving over here, I wanna show you the camera setup. This is really done in a way to optimize for their workflow. We wanted to get the best quality optics here. So we got a really good lens. Wanna make sure that it worked with the size of their space. And this is the Canon R5. And a word on the lenses. A big thing a lot of people, again, don't realize is different lenses are used for different purposes. You can't just take any random lens, like a bird watching lens, and shove it into a tiny closet and expect to see what you need to see. Lenses are different because they have different specs. And so when you look at a movie versus looking at a webcam footage, you can kind of tell the difference. And this is one of those big, big, big subtle differences that'll change the entire way that people perceive you. All right, and now perhaps the coolest part of the studio is the lighting. So Alexa, studio on. So it's so cool that it's voice activated. You can just walk in here and turn the studio on and the lighting does so, so much for your look. Right, so if I sit down here, you can see that there's light hitting me from so many different angles. And what we call it is painting with light, right? You're really adding so much spatial dimension to it and you're adding so much more of this emotion. If you're not using light, you're missing out on a ton. All right, so to explain a little bit about what's happening here, we've got this massive, massive softbox here on a key light. Key light stands for key primary. It's an easy way to think about it. The primary light here is the Aperture 300X. And what this does is it allows us to illuminate the space with a massive surface area of really nice soft glow. And that gives you kind of this shampoo commercial movie star look. Instead of like if you pictured a flashlight in your face, the exact opposite of that harsh lighting on you would be this soft glow. That's number one, super important. Number two, we also have lights around you and behind you. And what that does is it allows me to be separated from the background. It's super, super important because if I was just lit from the front, and a lot of people do this by mistake, we blend into the background, especially for those of you like me who have darker hair or like to wear darker clothing and your background is dark, for instance, right? You really want to be able to separate yourself by having more lights to cast shadows on the top of my shoulders, top of my head, and it just brings your whole studio into this 3D realm instead of a 2D flat image. And this really here is an art form. Our team did a really good job and I'm so impressed by the level of detail because moving a light just a tiny bit left or right, forward or back, or raising the brightness or the, changing the warmth of it, what we call the color temperature, massively changes how the lighting looks. This is actually in movies how you get someone to look like a villain versus someone who looks like the good character that you can empathize with. It's all in the lighting. And then finally, another type of lighting 
that a lot of people overlook is what we call practical lighting. Practical lights are the decorations that have their own illumination. They're not there to light you, you're the subject. They're more lights as the decorations themselves. So here again, sticking with the shipyard, it just kind of fits the vibe. All right, so that was a lot of information. I think it's time for the final reveal. No Dude. way! Oh, oh my man. gosh! All right, let's get in. Strap in. Mm. Our new home, mm. our new home oh, base. Comfy seats. We're gonna be here for quite a bit. Shout out to Dream Studio for helping us build this. Mm -hmm. it, to be honest, I'm extremely impressed with how it turned out. Oh yeah. I, I had an idea of what this was gonna end up as, and this, I can pretty confidently say this is 10 times cooler than what I thought it was. And especially, you can see that, I think we probably have some B-roll or some reaction footage that we can throw in there, uh -huh. like at this moment, of us seeing ourselves on that screen for the first time. It was like, I was mind blown. Oh. Yeah, that is different. And Way hearing different. ourselves, the recordings, everything, we sound better. It's awesome. It is. It is really cool. So if you guys need help with any of this, hopefully this video was helpful to you. But if you guys are in a similar boat where you're running a business and you don't have a lot of time to dedicate to this, our team is happy to help you if you guys want to get in touch. Links are going to be down below. Highly recommend. Do not try to do this yourself. Thanks, man. <laughs> Listen to Dickie and go check out his channel. I've personally learned so much from your content. Mm. Thanks for putting out all this stuff about like the business side of things. The studio is going to propel us to the next level. Big thanks to you for setting this entire place up and excited to see where it goes. Thanks, man. Mm. Appreciate you. Let's go. Sweet. I want to say a huge thank you to our entire team for putting this together. And thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys learned a lot from it so that when you go do your own studio builds, you can actually get through the whole process without too much headache and overwhelm. Awesome. Well, thank you guys. We'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. Boom.